For our lesson today, we're going to be looking at vertex form and the factored form of a quadratic equation. So for number one, we're going to think about what we know about this equation uh, as it is written in the vertex form. The vertex form uh, tells us where the vertex is. It tells us how the parabola or the quadratic function has been shifted. So for this one, the minus 2 on the inside of the parentheses is going to shift our parabola two units to the right, the minus three on the outside of the parentheses is going to shift our parabola three units down. So we know we're going two units right and three units down, and we have our U shape on the parabola. So here this is asking where is the axis of symmetry, and that axis of symmetry is going to occur right here at x equals two. And our vertex is located uh, two units to the right, so at x equals 2, and then at negative 3, three units down. And so this vertex is at 2, comma, negative 3. And 1b, let's look at this. So this plus 1 is going to shift our graph one unit to the left. So we're at negative 1, and then up two units. So here is our parabola. And it's our uh, quadratic U-shape going up because we, there is a positive in front of our parentheses. If it was a negative, we would have a downward U-shape. And so again, where is our axis of symmetry? Our axis of symmetry is here at x equals negative 1 because it's the same on either side of x equals negative 1. And then our vertex is at negative 1 up 2. So negative 1, 2 is where this vertex is located. And so uh, we have some, some ideas here. It looks as if our uh, h value, okay, the h value here, uh, 2, and the k value, negative 3, that is where the vertex is always located. So the h, k, uh, is going to tell me where my vertex is at all times. So here, uh, h is negative 1 because a negative, negative 1 would make a positive 1. So negative 1, and my k value is positive 2. So uh, this form will always tell me where the vertex is. It's also really easy to tell where the axis of symmetry is on each of these graphs. Okay, let's look at other forms. So this is what's called factored form. And for factored form, to help us with this information, we're going to plug this into Desmos. And so we're going to graph x plus 1 and x plus 4 into our Desmos calculator and see what that gives us. And what I notice here is that uh, we have x-intercepts at the point when uh, x is equal to negative 4 and when x is equal to negative 1. My axis of symmetry is going to be uh, right in between those. So uh, at 2 and a half, it's directly in the middle of uh, 4 and 1. So our axis is at x equals 2.5, and my vertex is here at negative 2.5, negative 2.25. Okay, let's look at part B. Okay, so part B. This is a negative out front. We have a x minus 2, and we have a x plus 1. Okay, so this is a upside down parabola. And here, where are my x-intercepts at? Well, my x-intercepts are at x equals two and x equals negative one. Okay, where is my axis of symmetry? It is gonna be exactly in between those two points. So um, what is in between those? And that is 0.5, okay? And then my vertex is at 0.5, and 2.25, okay? Um, but what I notice right now is that 
uh, my axis and my vertex are a little bit off. It's hard to tell what uh, those are from the form. Just like it was, it was easy to tell the vertex from this form, uh, this form is not necessarily as simple to tell what the axis and the vertex is. But what I do notice is my x-intercepts appear to be contained in the equation. So this x plus 4, moving it left 4 units, would put us at an x-intercept of negative 4. And the x plus 1, moving it left 1 unit, would put us at an x-intercept of negative 1. And the same is true here. x minus 2 gave us uh, to the right 2, which is at positive 2 for the x-intercept. And the plus 1 moves our graph left 1, which puts us at negative 1 for the x-intercept. And so let's uh, use that conjecture. Let's try to make a prediction on what should happen here for the x-intercepts in part C. So we see that uh, in part C, we have x minus 3 and x minus 5. So I'm going to take a guess that my x-intercepts are going to be at positive 3 and positive 5. Okay, my axis should be directly in between those. So what number? Think about our number line. Here's 3, here's 5. Those are your x-intercepts. What number is exactly in the middle of 3 and 5? Well, it makes sense that it should be at x equals 4. And then where is my vertex going to be? Well, we're going to graph that just to see where that is. The 2 uh, in the front should stretch our graph. Let's see. x minus 3 and x minus 5. And see what happens in my graph here. So there's my two x-intercepts at 3 and 5. Also, uh, my axis of symmetry is there at x equals 4. And my vertex is at 4, negative 2. So what we've learned here in uh, vertex form, that h and k will tell me where the vertex is. And in our factored form, uh, we learn that P and Q will also tell me uh, something about my quadratic. Uh, the P and the Q are going to tell me where the x-intercepts are located on the graph.